Hi, Dr. Lou here. So the next group of, of stretches and exercises you're gonna see are what I prescribe for patients who we fit with orthotics. Patients who've had plantar fasciitis or foot pain, some type of issue where we put them in orthotics and these exercises help you break into them more quickly and also help to keep your feet stretched out. So I recommend you continue to do them even after you feel better. This exercise is gonna strengthen the peroneus muscle. This muscle goes down the outside of the leg, and when you contract the peroneus muscle, it actually brings your foot out like this. So again, someone with plantar fasciitis and heel pain typically has a weakened peroneus muscle, and their foot is turning in too much. So to strengthen the muscle, we're gonna need a towel, and we're gonna have you lie on your back, have a pillow, now Angie's pretty flexible so she can straighten her leg all the way up here. If your hamstring doesn't allow that, if, you're, if it's too tight, get a longer towel, maybe a beach towel. You might have to start down here more, whatever you can comfortably hold. So you may need a longer towel. You may need another pillow. I don't want you doing this with your head held up. So if you have to have two pillows and a longer towel, bring it to comfort, okay? But for demonstration purposes, Angie can hold it here. So here's what we're doing. The towel is for resistance. So we're going to allow her foot to roll in. That is stretching the peroneus muscle. Okay. So now she's going to hold a little more tension on this side. Not a lot, but enough to feel some good resistance. As she now tries to take her leg out, she's contracting the peroneus muscle by, by adding resistance with this hand. So you want to let it come all the way out. Now you should feel that pretty good in here. Okay, then she's going to relax and let the foot go in by pulling back with this left hand. Now she's going to resist, not pull with the right hand, she's going to resist with the left hand while she activates the muscle to turn the foot out. And she will do this 10 times in a set. She can then hop to the other leg to do the other side while this side rests, and then go back and forth, 10 repetitions each, 3 sets. This is the straight leg raise stretch. It is important to keep your hamstring and calf muscles stretched out to prevent injury and also to reduce lower back pain. So to do the test, you're gonna lie comfortably on your back, have your head supported with a pillow, arms crossed over your belly if you like, knees bent, if this relaxes your spine. You wanna focus on feeling the stretch in these two muscles. So Angie is gonna raise her leg and clasp her hands. To start the stretch, tilt the foot forward, and this is gonna start the stretch in the calf muscle. And then she's gonna raise her legs until she feels a nice pull and stretch, but it doesn't hurt, it's like good pain. Now you start to count in your mind, five to 10 seconds, you gotta hold it for five to 10 seconds to be effective, and then you relax it. We're gonna repeat it three times, five to 10 second hold and relax it. Now we're not holding the full time here for instruction purposes. After three repetitions with this leg, she would drop that leg down and then stretch the other side. This is the calf stretch or sometimes called the runner stretch. For people that have tight calves, it may be playing into ankle pain, plantar fasciitis. These are some of the reasons you wanna do the stretch. If you're a runner or a walker, it's a good warm-up stretch before and after you do those particular exercises. So notice Angie is standing against the wall comfortably supported by her arms. She's standing in good posture. Now the leg she's going to stretch for demonstration purposes is going to be the right calf. So she's going to move her left leg forward, bend her knee a little bit, and then as she kind of lunges, notice she's keeping this all straight and she's gonna take a lunge into it until she feels a very comfortable but yet strong stretch in her calf. The recommendations are always the same. Five to 10 second hold, repeat three times. Now there are two muscle, two heads to the calf muscle, one on the outside, one on the inside. And sometimes you need to isolate one is tighter than the other. So if you back up a little bit, Ange, if you toe in a bit, not a lot, but about 10 to 15 degrees, and then take that stretch again. If it's tight, you're gonna feel that on the outside, the outside part of the, of the calf muscle, 
Hold five to 10 seconds, repeat three times. Bring the leg back, toe out, not so far, right about there. And again, it's kind of a lunge on that knee, keeping this all straight and feeling the stretch now more on the inside. Clinically, I have found this one is usually not tight, this one usually is. But you'll know when you do it. You'll feel the one that's tighter, focus on that. So again, you always wanna do one with the, uh, bring your leg back, one straight in first with the toe straight towards the wall. Remember, good posture. You're not arching your back backwards. You're using your arms to let you fall into the wall. You're not pushing yourself back to get into this stretch and then maybe pinch your lower back. And now you're gonna feel that stretch right down into the calf if you're doing this correctly. And then you can toe in and toe out and get all parts of your calf muscle. This next exercise is actually a strengthening exercise for what are called the intrinsic muscles of the foot. There are actually small muscles in the foot that help build stability, especially when you're having foot pain, plantar fasciitis, excessive pronation. We want to try to strengthen those muscles up again. So we're going to use a dish towel. We're going to drop it on the floor. We're going to sit comfortably in a chair and we're going to do what I call toe scrunches. We're going to grab the towel with your toes, pick it up and drop it. Grab the towel with your toes, pick it up, drop it. You may find this is more difficult than you think the first time you do it. And you grab the towel, we're firing those muscles, drop it. I like to do repetition of 10 reps. And then of course, switch to the other foot, 10 repetitions, come back to this foot, 10 repetitions, go back and forth for three sets.